Hello everyone, welcome to our demo for the Nautica Single Vendor Admin Dashboard. The admin dashboard can be used to manage your entire restaurant, which includes your food items, orders, riders, as well as other features. So with that out of the way, let's begin. The very first thing you'll need to do is log in to the admin panel using your unique ID and password. After logging in, you'll see the dashboard. The dashboard shows you stats related to your restaurant or grocery store. On the dashboard, you will be able to see the total number of orders you've received, how many users you have, as well as your total sales and ratings. The dashboard also allows you to plot a graph for a certain time frame. So you can see a handy graph of the sales your restaurant has made during that time. Right next to that graph, you can also see your performance metrics regarding total orders. Next, in categories, you can add a category for each food item that you will be adding later on. Categorizing your food item helps you to make it easier for customers to find what they're looking for. You can add your own titles for different categories and also add descriptions if you want. You can also upload images for each category. We've already added quite a few that you can see below. You can get a brief overview of the categories as well, which you can edit or delete. Next, we have the food section. You can add food items from your restaurant's menu. Same as before, you can assign any name to the food items you have and add descriptions for each. You can also place them in the categories that you have previously created. You can also create different variations for each food item. Variations can consist of different item sizes like small, medium and large or different deals. And of course, you can also set the prices. You can also upload an image for each food item. We have done them already here. You can also choose to create an add-on for that specific food item. Add-ons can be items like drinks, size and condiments etc. Let's add a new entry with the title drinks. Now we can add the options for drinks which can be anything like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta etc. And you can also choose to make it optional or compulsory. And putting a value higher than zero means that the add-on is compulsory otherwise it's optional. You can also set the maximum number of an add-on that a customer can get. After finalizing your entry, all you need to do is save it. It will then be added to the list of add-ons available to the customer. Once you've done all of that, go ahead and click the save button. Your food item will be added to the list below. In the list you can, like before, edit and delete each item. Moving on to the order section, it shows us all orders that your restaurant has received. It also gives you information about the customer, their address, what time their order was placed, the payment status and also their delivery status. You can also use the screen to search a specific order by order ID. Once you receive an order, you can click on it to open a new window which lets you accept or cancel the order. Here we have a recent order from one of our customers. Let's accept this one. Now we can see that you can assign it to a rider or you can leave it blank for any rider to pick it up by themselves. You can also change the order and payment status manually in case of any issues. You can also see the customer status as well as their order details. Next, on the rider screen, you can add a rider with their phone number you can add their own unique username as well as their password. The username and password will be used to log in to the Rider app. Below that, you can set the availability of the Rider as well as edit or delete them. And that's all for the short demo of our Anatica admin dashboard. Let's start with the customer app. When you first launch the app, you'll be prompted to allow or not allow notifications Allowing notification lets the app keep you informed about your orders. This includes delivery time, order status, etc. We'll allow notifications for now. Once that's done, you'll see the home screen. Before choosing your food items, tap the menu button on the top left and tap on login slash create account. On this screen, you can sign up using a few ways. These include signing up using Facebook, Google or Apple. Or you can use your email as well. And of course, if you already have an account, you can simply log in. Once you're logged in, you're back on the home screen. Now let's place an order. 
Choose whichever food item or beverage you would like to order and add it to your cart. For now, let's simply add one bottle of Pepsi to our cart. On the My Card screen, you can change the delivery address as well as the payment method. The different payment methods include cash on delivery, PayPal, credit or debit card. After placing the order, it is sent to the admin panel that we showcased in our admin dashboard demo. Once the restaurant accepts your order, the riders are then notified of it. They can then choose to either accept or ignore the order, or the restaurant can assign it to a rider manually. The rider can see that order in their app in the New Orders tab. They can see the details of that order. They can then choose to tap the Assign Me button which will then authorize that rider to make the delivery. After picking up the order, the rider can then change the status of the delivery from Pending to Picked Up. Once the order is delivered, they can then change the status once again to Delivered which will then notify the restaurant as well as the customer. And that's it! Click on the link in the top right corner for more demos. Thank you for watching.